Hello everyone and welcome to my first YouTube video. <laughs> finally I'm making a YouTube video, finally I'm making a YouTube. I just thought everyone else is doing it, <laughs> why can't I? I think everyone thinks like that, it's just one of those things where you think you're not good enough or the hell am I gonna film? You never know really, so here I am, I'm, I'm doing it. And hopefully you're gonna come along with me on this wonderful and exciting and terrifying journey. So let's get into it. Today's video, I want to talk about university and what I wish I knew before I went and before I chose where I was going to go. Because if you're anything like me and you may not have wanted to go to university, you may have thought you weren't good enough, not smart enough, please never think like that. You are more than capable of going to university. If you want to, I'm not here to force anyone or tell anyone to go to university. This is just my experience, what I wish I knew. Because if I can help anybody who's kind of going through the same emotions or situation that I was going through at the time when I was trying to pick what I wanted to do, where I wanted to go, if I wanted to go anywhere. So I went to a non-traditional university. I did a university online. I went to Open University that is based in Milton Keynes. And I will get into who Open University is for. But before we do that, I need to go and make a cup of coffee. So why don't we go and do that? So I have my little list of pros and cons for Open University, so yeah, let's get into it. Number one, it's affordable, it's 30% cheaper than going to a more traditional university to go onto a campus because you aren't paying the maintenance to live at your campus. If you live at the campus, you don't necessarily have to, um, depending on what university you go to, because OU is online, I get to study at home, in bed, which I have done most of the time. And I get to stay home and drink as many cups of tea and coffees as I want. On top of that, I don't have to go and stay and park at a campus. Parking in the UK does cost quite a bit of money. There aren't a lot of free places to park. If I had to pay every day to go and park at my campus or the days that I do go to uni, it, it really racks up, so it does help that I don't have to do that. Uh, number two, you do get a lot of discounts. So for the books and materials and any additional things that you're gonna need to study, you do get discounts on that. Although most universities give discounts, such as Unidays, Student Beans, and Amazon Student. Number three, employers like how Open University works. Because you are required to study on your own, do everything on your own, plan your time, plan your deadlines and once you learn that from the beginning they don't have to teach you that that is something that is quite unique for most online learning platforms you are required to do it on your own there is no one that's going to help you you're either going to do the deadline or you're going to fail so they like that they like that they don't have to teach that number four open university provide mini courses these courses were a huge help when i was trying to decide what i wanted to do so i did a bunch of the mini courses there's loads of them they're all on the OU website. I'll list them here if you want, and you can go and have a look at those yourself. So they are free for anybody who wants to give them a go. You don't have to be a student. You can just make a profile and go and do the free courses. And there's a long list. There's math, there's science, there's English, there's history, philosophy, music study, drama, media, business. They're all on there for free. Number five, you get to study at home, which is fantastic when you live in a cold country that is cold 90% of the time and it's raining and it's windy and it's miserable. Studying in my own bed, not having to get changed, not having to worry about clothes or makeup. I don't have to get into my car. In the cold, I get to stay in bed and chill out and open my books with all my highlighters and do what I please. And the last thing about Open University that I think is wonderful, because it's from home, it is made for people who don't have time to go and sit in a class. If you are a mom that wants to study something, and you've got little kids or you've got kids in general that you have to be around for all the time it's a great way to part-time study and still be able to do all that to work as well as you plan your own schedule because you get to study on your own time and like any other university you get excellent advice excellent tutoring there are so many more pros that i could mention but those are just a few that i wrote down as i saw from other students so yeah go and have a look at that but for my negatives there aren't that many from what I've experienced. So number one, you don't get to experience 
student life. You know, beans on toast, the pot noodles, the living away from home, the experiencing of the lifestyle, the parties, the student nights. You don't get to experience all of that. The campuses, and for some people that's okay. Like they don't want that. Like for me, I didn't want that. I just wanted to study and get it done and get my qualification and yeah. And that's what I'm doing. Number two, you don't always build relationships with other students and or your teacher because you're not going to traditional classes, traditional lectures, because they're, they're all done online. You don't get to build the relationship with other students. You don't get to make friends with other students. It is possible. Like for me, I do have a group chat with all of the, the students that are on my course. Number three, teachers are not always prompt when it comes to emailing them. I have had in the past a teacher that didn't reply for a whole week when I needed them to reply as soon as possible. You are given your tutor's phone number as well as their email address. But for me, I never felt comfortable just texting my teacher or giving them a call. But you don't always get a quick response. It's very rare. I've only had it maybe a handful of times. But all throughout the three years that I've been studying, all of my teachers have pretty much been quite prompt but yes, you don't always get a quick response. Number four, all of your tutorials, all of your lectures are going to be online. Sometimes the system is going to be down. There's nothing you can do about that. Sometimes the internet is just meh. <laughs> Sometimes the classes are full, so you can't get onto them. Sometimes the tutors get mixed up on their schedules and they don't show up. These are things that you cannot change. You just have to deal with them. But that is something to keep in mind. With OU, if you are taking a degree that requires you to take exams, you only get two attempts to do that exam. If you fail at both, you might end up losing all the money that you paid to do the course. So bear that in mind if you are going to do a degree that requires you to take an exam. And I don't know if other universities, if more traditional universities have the same requirement, so just check that out beforehand. When I spoke about Open University to friends, colleagues, family friends, they questioned whether I was actually going to get a qualification. It really did bug me that people asked me this. Yes, you do get a qualification. So you do get a full qualified degree that you can take into any job afterwards. But lastly, if you are someone who doesn't have the motivation to, to study from home, then yes, go to a more conventional university. There's nothing wrong with needing that motivation in class, that engagement with the other students and that engagement with your teacher. And some people don't want that. And I happen to be one of those people. I just, I hated being in a classroom. It just wasn't for me. If you are someone who wants to experience student life, then I would suggest going to a more conventional university and not studying from home. But other than that, most of the pros is that you can study from home at your own pace, it's cheaper. You do get more out of it because you are self, being self-motivated to do it. So you do get a lot more experience being self-dependent and self-motivated on, on that topic. Hello. This is just for people who have considered it and worried about it and felt like they wouldn't be good enough to go and felt, feel like they wouldn't pass. Never, never say that you, you can't do something when you can because I told myself that I couldn't and now I'm four months away from finishing. And if this video can help anybody that is struggling with that thought, with that thought process, please take it from me who always thought that she wasn't good enough to be in university, to study, to do it independently, and to almost be finishing and graduating. If you had asked me three years ago, or four years ago, oh, um, do you think you would do well in university? I probably would have said, hell no, like I am not made for university, but here I am telling you that I'm nearly finished and it's exciting for me. It's gonna be an exciting new chapter. This is an exciting new chapter. And I hope that you're going to come with me on this journey, the journey of graduating, the journey afterwards, and the journey of YouTube. And on that note, I hope this video has been informative. I know it's quite boring for my first video, but I hope it's given you so much more to think about. So have a lovely day and if you would like to please subscribe and like this video. You don't have to but it would be so wonderful if you did. Thank you. Bye bye.